Hello everyone and welcome back to another plan with me. Today I'm going to be planning out the week of March 1st through March 7th. I'm so thankful that we are starting a fresh new month, but let's go ahead and look back at this past week. There's a lot of pages at the end of a month in a Moxie Life Planner, which is why I was kind of holding them because you have your monthly reflection, your next month coming up, your monthly goals, <laughs> then you have your weekly reflection and your weekly actions for the upcoming week, which I have not done yet, which is perfectly fine, but um, I'm really liking adding the pictures in my weekly reflection. I want to add something else right here, but I haven't quite finished it. I started it last night and just haven't gotten there. So this is how this week is looking with this Chrissy Ann Designs Kit. It is a $2 Tuesday kit from last year. I've been asked a lot about this one. It's just no longer available, unfortunately, but I know that she has nothing but great things in store for the upcoming $2 Tuesday kits, which I highly recommend shopping from. So definitely keep your eye out for those. But this is how everything went with this week. We did have a lot of things to get done, like a lot of little moving pieces to handle, but overall it all got done. I forgot what we had on certain days for meals. I need to look back and see if maybe someone in my family remembers, but um, I, I really like how this turned out. It was really functional and really pretty all at the same time, so I really, really like it. So for this week, I am going to be using this um, Planner Kate kit. It is 315, and I did get the sampler. I got the thick washi and some of the add-on decorative boxes and of course the date covers. Since this sheet has the two pieces of washi and I have the thick washi, I am going to put these up here at the top. And of course that will help me with <laughs> lining up the date covers. And I'm gonna kind of put them here. I'm still gonna leave space for the weather. I feel like that was letting me stop me from doing that um, in the past as I was worried that I wouldn't have a place to put weather, but I will definitely have that space um, available. And speaking of weather, it has been gorgeous the past couple of days here. And let me zoom you guys in just a little bit closer so that you can see everything. But it has been beautiful and I'm scared to get like too used to it because you know, the weather's been kind of all over the place, but like today it's like in the 80s, like low 80s, which is shocking. Oh, that's not even, that's not even right at all. Let's get that back up. But anyway, the weather has been really, really nice, which is a nice change because we had a few weeks of like nonstop rain and it was just, it was just a lot to deal with. But all right, let's get these down. The first, I'm happy for a new month. We've got a lot of big things happening around here. Um, our daughter turns 22 and Nathan has prom. And uh, to be quite honest, I'm glad that they're still letting them have the experience of prom with everything going on. Uh, I was a little bit worried. This is, you know, Nathan's senior year of high school. So um, we definitely want them to still continue to have those experience, but also, um, also be safe. You know, it's like uh, we've got to figure out how to move forward with living our lives while still being safe and um, keeping others in mind always. So their plan is to have it outdoors, which I think is quite unique for prom to have it outdoors. And even though they're outdoors, masks are still required, which I can appreciate. My only concern is that obviously it's prom. There's not gonna be any social distancing. Um, but if masks are heavily enforced, I do feel like 10% better. I'm, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I'm still like, oh, this is tough. This is tough. And I know it's even tougher on the kids themselves. So um, we went yesterday and had him fitted for his tux and all of that fun stuff. And then I was thinking, oh my God, now I need to find a place to see if we can get them, um, him and his girlfriend, matching masks, but like match her dress, if that makes sense. I think that would be really cute. Maybe I'm, you know, being a little over the top, but <laughs> I, I think that it would be really cute. I, I don't know, that's just me. All right, let's get this washi down. I have not used, is this like a different size now? It's not fully covering. Oh, I, th I don't think the Planner Kate one is always covered. I think the Chrissy Ann Designs has. So you kind of got to eyeball it to get it right um, right in the middle there. And let's see if I can pull this back up. I should have had it more to the left and torn it from the left than the right because it's a little hard with this coil. 
Um, so there's that. I love this. I love this kit so much. Um, it's just so pretty. Did I put this upside down? This is upside down. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, my eyes are playing tricks on me. That is most definitely upside down. Thank goodness for repositionable stickers. Oh my goodness. That is a quick fix. That is a quick fix. I'm sure one of you would have told me, hey, it's upside down. You guys always notice things and I'm like, it is? <laughs> All right, so let's get that one down and this one over here. I really am liking these colors. There's about to be like a ton of green and like super colorful um, kits going on. I've been trying to do better about planning ahead as far as my kits go and not ordering a insane amount of sticker kits, which I've done in the past. So I literally like plot out each week, which by the way, if you're following Taylor over at Tattoo Teacher Plans, I'm not sure if she still has it up on her Instagram, but she was offering people, if you sent her an email, she has like an Excel spreadsheet made where you can plan out all of your kids for the whole year. That might sound excessive to some people, but if you're a type A person like me, um, I, it's definitely like right up your alley to do something like that. So I went ahead and emailed her and got it from her and I just think it's just brilliant. It's just genius, genius. Okay, where do I wanna put this? Cause if I'm gonna put the weather, ooh, maybe I can just put it down here. That would be different, which means it makes me nervous. So we're not gonna do it. <laughs> we'll put it right there and then the weather can go on that next line above there. Okay, so that is everything for just the frame of the week. I also want to do a this week sticker, but I'm not sure how I wanna do it. Has she changed the size of these? Ooh, yes, this actually fits this column over here. Very nice. I like this because I'm not going to use this whole space. If you guys have watched my plan with me's most of the time, I forget that that column even exists. So there's that. All right, that looks really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is going to be like a pretty calm week. We don't have too much going on. It is the first, so there is going to be the signups are open for Wild University, which in a nutshell, the way that I can describe Wild University, if you're not um, familiar with it, it is like, it's almost like a Skillshare that is specifically for the planning community, but it isn't just about planning, but you'll see a lot of familiar faces with all of the courses because it's from people within our community, which is even more awesome. And I just, I love that it's this ever growing um, community and library full of amazing resources that but I highly recommend joining. If you're interested in just checking it out, um, just to see what it's all about, I'll leave a link down below in the description. All right, I have the wrong pen. Let's get rid of that one. So I like to start with, let's see, there's work all week. There's not a day with no school. <laughs> this is going to be like a very uneventful week. But I do want to do, let's see, which stickers do I wanna use for my videos? I kinda like these three colors right here. Those are really nice. So we'll put those down for videos. And then I have to remember to leave myself the room for the weather. And I think I'm gonna pair this with some stickers from Hand Can Plan. I have been obsessed with these and I can't find the sheet that I already started. Let's see if it's in this, no. All right, we'll just keep it going. So I'm gonna use these like play buttons, these little YouTube play buttons for the days that I have videos. I think those are so friggin' cute. So of course, the first one will be the video that you're watching right now, which is a plan with me. And then the plan is to post the March plan with me on Wednesday. Hopefully that will actually happen because I wanted it to go up last week and I completely forgot about the new Chrissy Ann Designs collection launching and that was got replaced with Friday's video. So I moved the March plan with me to this week. So it'll be a couple days late, but it will be okay. So there will literally be a week of plan with me's because Mondays is a regular weekly plan with me, Wednesdays is a monthly plan with me, and Friday will be a daily plan with me, which I didn't get to do last week and you guys really liked it and said keep them coming. So that's what I'm gonna do when I have a spot to fill in in my content um, plans. All right, so there is that. Then I have, let's see, we have no doctor's appointments this week. We have like nothing. <laughs> 
I guess I'm gonna be thankful for a very relaxing week because I, yeah, you just never know when things will change. I'm going to use the appointment labels for all of my work meetings. All right, let's get those down. Uh, we'll put the 11 o'clock right about there. I didn't get any full boxes with this kit, which honestly, sometimes it's kind of nice to take a break from using the full boxes because that really can bulk up your planner quite a bit. Uh, let's see, two o'clock meeting on Wednesday. I'm not even sure if I will be at that. Lately, I've been working in our um, COVID vaccine clinic um, almost every single day. This Monday, I will finally get a break from it because it does kind of take away from my regular duties and sometimes it can be a little bit like, okay, I need to catch up on my other stuff, but it's definitely been a very, um, kind of like a nice change of environment at work and also just like very rewarding to be a part of something like that. So I'm, I'm super excited to be a part of it. All right, next up, I am just gonna move along to the bottom part of my planner, except I wanna leave some space for meals. And since this week had the thick washi at the bottom, what I'm gonna do is use the dots here. I could also use the asterisks. There's quite a few of those. Um, just kind of use those along the bottom and give myself a space for our meals, which means my half boxes will go up a little bit more and that's okay. It'll be something something slightly different. That won't be too bad. I've also got to be sure to schedule in some workouts. Last week was just a mess as far as workouts go. I um, had fully intended to finish the total strength program over on Peloton but I decided to walk into an ottoman <laughs> and hurt my toe. I'm almost certain I broke it or or either badly bruised it. I never really got x-rays because I was like, it's not bent in a weird direction. <laughs> One, that was the big thing. And there really isn't anything that you can do for a broken toe. So I wasn't too worried about it, but I did take like three or four days off from doing anything to prevent any further trauma. And then the, to top it off, the Sunday before, I threw out my back. And it wasn't as bad as I had done previous in previous times when I've thrown out my back. But it was like the universe's way of saying, we need you to focus on something else. <laughs> so the workouts didn't happen. I, it was a very relaxing, relaxing week. I was just yeah, down for the count. Couldn't do too much, but it was okay. It was totally okay. All right, and then let's see, oh, this rainbow one. Let's use this one right here. So my plan to use the stuff at the bottom still worked. I honestly could have flipped it around, but that's okay too. Monday will be a workout day. Actually, we'll make that Monday and Wednesday. And I haven't even figured out which program I wanna start for the month of March. I know that I was talking to Katie over at Katie K Plans because we were supposed to do the total strength program together, except I kind of let her down on that one. And I wanna say we're doing like an ab type of program. <laughs> we'll see if I can keep up with that. I don't know if I wanna put the workout sticker on Friday down at the bottom, or if, I think I might just add another half box and do work out there because Friday will be our movie night, which we haven't been watching movies. We've been watching WandaVision on Friday nights, which this past week had me like all over the place. I don't know if you guys have been watching WandaVision, but man, the second a new episode drops, there are people all over Instagram, TikTok, whatever, giving their reactions to it. And everyone was like, oh my God, this episode was so sad. And me and my family watched it and we were like, we don't get it. Or what are we supposed to be sad about? <laughs> Anyway, it was just, you know, I don't know. It just wasn't as sad to us. I don't know. I don't want to give away any spoilers in case there are some of you watching my video who also watch WandaVision. And I don't want you guys like being totally pissed off at me because I gave away everything that happened. But it was just, um, yeah, I was like, okay, I, I don't, yeah, we just didn't get it just didn't get it, just wasn't for us. Okay, so I've got everything down as far as workouts and editing on Mon for Monday through Thursday. So I, I do believe that they are still doing a new episode on Friday. 
I'm gonna put it down and hopefully that is not a waste of a sticker. Is there a TV label on here? There is not. There's like an additional add-on that you can get from Planner Keep that has a whole bunch of more skip stickers and I bet it has something with a TV on it but this um, does not. That is totally okay. And I still totally wrote movie night down. Like old habits just die hard. <laughs> All right, so going back on a couple of things. Uh, let's see, I need to put trash day down, but I feel like we need another sticker to kind of break up the color that's going on on the page. And I'll just use this one. Still more pink. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of this teal color, this light blue color, and yeah, there's just a lot of it. Okay, I do wanna put down planner time for Saturday night. That's what I typically put down there just because that's when I plan out my week or at least get a better idea of what's going on for the week. Next week will be a little bit busier than this week. It's just not happening this week. It's gonna be, I'm gonna take it for what it is and appreciate that it's not going to be busy. Oh, I do need to put a pay bill sticker down on the first. That would be nice. We typically, our budget kind of, we've never really changed it from when Jesse was in the military. We kind of focus on first of the month and mid-month bills. It always just kind of works out that way. So technically we pay the first of the month bills mid-month and the other way around. All right, a couple of other stickers that I wanna put down is laundry day on, let's see, Wednesday evening and then grocery day on Sunday. Today, on Sunday, when I'm filming it, oh my gosh, I actually had to go into the grocery store and it was packed. I had to park so far away. I was like, oh, my bad. I definitely should have planned a little bit better on that. But um, at least we were able to get it done. Done and over with. All right, I think that that is it for that part. Let's move on to the weather. I'm curious to see what this week holds for us. I have been using the Planner Kate, let's see if I can find them. These sort of icon, weather icons, and I am loving them. This is sheet 1434, um, and I'm just gonna kind of put it right underneath that washi there. Let me pull up our weather. And it looks like it's actually gonna cool down a little bit today. The high is gonna be like almost 85, which is just crazy to me. It is just, <laughs> compared to the weather we had last week and the week before, it just, it's, Wow, but um, it's gonna get a little bit cooler, but spring is definitely in the air. All right, so I have got the weather done for Monday through Thursday. That is as far as I go because it just changes way too much. <laughs> but that will do for now. And then next, I have been loving putting in these um, holidays from Planner Kate. They kind of remind me of the ones from Chrissy and Designs, except obviously they're much, much smaller, so they can just take up a line or two in your planner, but uh, you can just kind of, I think that you can go on her shop and buy like one sheet at a time so you get three months at a time or you can do what, do what I did and I just went ahead and got all four sheets because I knew that I would forget or get them late and then I knew it was just going to be a pain. So let's start with the first. The first is Peanut Butter Lover's Day. That's kind of cute. Um, the fifth, oh we just jump. There's not a whole lot of holidays. Uh, Employee Appreciation Day. Hmm. I wonder if that's actually going to Anyway, <laughs> okay. Uh, the sixth is National Frozen Food Day. I know that my kids will appreciate that one. And then, oh my gosh, the seventh is National Cereal Day. I'm, I'm totally on board with that one. I love, I love cereal. Like, I know that some people don't like cereal, but <laughs> I do. I really, really do. If you have a favorite cereal, let me know down in the comments. I feel like a cereal connoisseur. I just, I love all kinds of cereal. Okay. Now that we are at Sunday, because I almost forgot, and I'm sure some of y'all noticed, I do need to obviously film um, some videos. So we'll put that about here. And I'm gonna grab another Hand Can Plan sticker. I just placed another order with her. I just, I can't get enough. They're so great. Um, okay, 
there is that. Now we need to focus a little bit on the sidebar. There is a little this week sticker and I think I'm going to pair it with, I thought I had another skinny event label, but I realized I didn't even order the sheet that had skinny event labels on it. So I don't have those. We're just going to put this week all by itself right there. And I'm not going to really worry about listing anything out just yet, but I do want to focus on my habits for the week. And let's see, I'm going to kind of reference last week because I just changed them up last week and I really liked the way that they worked out. So I have my AM and PM routine, hydrate, sleep, unplug, read, and my skincare. And I'm just going to do the same for this week. Now, I'm not going to lie. My big struggle has been that I forget about this because I don't always leave my planner out in the open. And that was one of the things that I was kind of noting when I did my weekly reflections in my Moxie Life Planner was that I need to do better about leaving my planner open so that I reference it more and I'm not forgetting these things because even as a very seasoned planner, I forget a lot of things. All right, so that is everything for this plan with me. I'll probably add some meals a little bit later, but I am loving the way that this came out with this kit from Planner Kate. It is just so cute, and it feels like it's like a gradual into spring kind of kit. So, all right, that is it for this plan with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I so appreciate you spending a little bit of your time with me. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that you click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video.